After reportedly barricading himself in his house for a couple of days, Antonio Brown decided to turn himself in. I am glad he did this. This was definitely the right decision because had he refused to turn himself in, it could have gotten really, really bad. So for the first time in a long time, he actually made a great choice. Now he was held overnight in jail. I believe his bail was like $110,000. He can't, had to surrender his passport. He had to turn over his firearms. A lot of restrictions here. He has a GPS monitor. So all of this is part of the deal of him being released, I guess. And I'm all for it. He's definitely behaving erratically. I don't know what he's going to do next. I hope he doesn't say or do anything that will make things worse for him. The reason why he was even being arrested, the reason why the law enforcement was at his door was because he attacked, well, I'll say it this way. He reportedly attacked a mover. So some guy, some professional mover was attacked by him and this is felony battery. So it's not looking good for AB. I'm not sure why he did this. To me, it doesn't make sense. Someone of AB's caliber should not be doing stuff like this. It's just too dangerous, it's just too risky. I don't know what's going on with AB. He definitely needs help for sure. And part of the requirement for him being released was that he would he needs to see somebody. He needs to get a mental evaluation. And I'm happy about that. It's mandatory. And I hope this person is able to help AB navigate through things. Because I don't think he's thinking clearly. His behavior is so erratic. He's all over the place with his decision making. So I hope this is a wake up call for him. To me, this is rock bottom. When you're jeopardizing your freedom and making these irrational decisions and you're tweeting and putting stuff on Instagram, that is not, that could get you in trouble. When you're doing stuff like this, you obviously are not in the right frame of mind. So like I said, I'm glad he turned himself in. I'm glad he didn't draw this out. I'm glad he finally cooperated. That's the best thing to do. I hope he gets the help that he needs because if his mind is right, I do believe he can be a productive member of society. But with the way he's going now, if he doesn't get the help he needs, if he doesn't change his behavior, his NFL career will be done and he's gonna increase his chances of end up ending up incarcerated. And I definitely don't want that for him. I'm not sure if the people around him are telling him to, hey, get help. I'm not sure if he's even listening, if they are. I don't know what's going on. At the end of the day, Antonio Brown has to realize that what he's doing is not right. He himself has to want the help. It's his choice. It's his life. He has to do the right things. You don't attack anybody. And from my understanding, this is a felony charge. So he could be going away for a long time. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. To me, this is rock bottom. I hope he's able to make better decisions so he doesn't keep getting in trouble. I'm not even thinking about his NFL career right now. That's later on. Right now, we have to see what happens with this case. And if he ends up in the NFL again, hey, it is what it is. I'm all for it as long as he acts right. If he behaves himself, I don't have a problem with it. But like I said, right now, this he has to get his mind right. He's not thinking clearly. I hope the people around him are strongly encouraging him on a daily basis to act right, to make the right choices. I hope his attorneys are in his ear because this is a man that has so much to give, but he's squandering all of that because he's making so many ill-advised decisions. We'll see what happens there with him. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So please remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you 
Have a blessed, wonderful day.